What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and uh, this week I'm going to be taking you through a uh, homemade bulking snack recipe that I pretty much make anytime I'm home and uh, yeah, it's pretty great. Let's hop into it. Alrighty guys, so I have all the stuff here behind me to make this. It's pretty much going to be like a homemade granola type thing, but it's very calorically dense, super high in carbs, and you can make it pretty healthy. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw a picture up on screen right now of the recipe. And these measurements are um, gonna make a whole lot of granola, like a big bowl full of granola. And I'm only gonna be here for a couple more days, so I'm only gonna be making half of the recipe. So all the ingredients that you see right now, I'm gonna be using half of. But you can go ahead and stop it, screenshot this. This is all the ingredients you're gonna need. And uh, yeah, let's hop into how you make it. All right guys, so first things first, you're gonna need a really big bowl to put all your dry ingredients in. So I have this really big bowl here. And uh, first, we're gonna put in the main thing, which is going to be the oats. And I know, I know the recipe says uh, nine cups of oats, but like I said, I'm doing half, so I'm gonna do four and a half cups of oats here. Sorry, one thing I forgot to mention, before you start all this, you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to about 350 degrees. And that is just about four and a half cups of oats. All right, next up on the recipe, a cup of chopped or slivered almonds. Like I said, I'm having the recipe, so I'm gonna do a half cup of almonds. And you can buy like pre-chopped or slivered almonds, but I just have a, so I just have whole almonds. So you pretty much just gotta put them in a bag, get you a uh, cutting board and some kind of hammer and uh, chop them up yourself. A half cup of almonds. There. Try to get all the air out of the bag too, just so you don't pop it when you're smashing stuff. And just chop them up till you're kind of content with the size. I like them about like that. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. And then you're just gonna take the almonds, throw them in the same bowl with your granola. And then I believe the next ingredient is a cup of pecans, but one, I, uh, I don't really like pecans for one, and two, we don't have any because I don't like pecans. So I'm gonna skip the pecans, but uh, go ahead and put them in there if you want them, or you don't want them, whatever, it doesn't really matter. It won't affect it if you don't put them in there, trust me, or if you put in pecans and not the almonds, it'll be just fine. All right, so after that, we have just a half cup of brown sugar. A little, uh, something you wanna do with the brown sugar is after you dump it in, brown sugar gets pretty uh, like clumpy. You really wanna like kind of grind it up with your fingers like these little balls like this, and make sure it's really nice and fine so it'll uh, kind of mix in evenly you know, with the rest of the stuff in there. Next, uh, the recipe says two teaspoons of cinnamon, uh, like yay. So that is all for the dry ingredients. Now what you want to do is just uh, mix it all up and mix up all the dry ingredients in this bowl here. Alright, so next you want to get another decent sized bowl, not quite as big, but this is going to be for all the liquid sort of stuff. So first up we have, we have just a cup of kind of warm water. See, next there is a cup of honey. Another little tip here is um, because oil is another ingredient, put the oil in the measuring cup first and then put the honey in with it on top of it and measure it out because then the honey will come out a lot nicer because the oil is below it, kind of like lubricating. But uh, I messed up, put the honey in first. Oh, another thing if you want to make this a little healthier, you can go with sugar free honey. I just have normal honey because it comes in a really big container and you get it cheaper and I can make a lot of this with one container of honey. But if you would like to go healthier, you could go with some sugar-free honey or you know a bit healthier oil than canola oil. But you know, it's really not that bad, but up to you. Last ingredient is uh, vanilla. I know it says like three teaspoons, but I really don't measure the vanilla out, so I don't it makes a big difference. It's just kind of uh, for, for flavor. And uh, I know this looks funny, but one of my mom's friends actually like makes vanilla at home and will give it to us. That's why it's in the funny jar with the, whatever those are in there. But normal vanilla is just fine. And you're gonna whisk all the liquid 
liquids in the bowl here and you're gonna notice that like after you whisk it for just a little bit like mix it around it gets a lot thinner like you can feel it like get super thin and like the consistency kind of turns into like so it seems like water and that's totally what's supposed to happen so don't worry about it next you're just gonna take your liquid bowl here and uh, dump it in the other bowl you had your, your solid bowl and then you're gonna want to mix up the stuff in the big bowl here till like all the all the dry stuff is like coated in the liquid. So it just looks something kind of like that. Okay, next you're gonna have to get a cookie sheet out. If you're making the uh, full recipe like it says on the uh, picture, you're gonna need two cookie sheets, but I'm only doing half, so I need one. Then you're just gonna dump all this stuff onto the cookie sheet. And then you're just gonna spread out the granola on this pan like as evenly as possible with like making sure there's no like holes where you can see the pan and stuff like that and just make sure it's nice spread out nice nice even layer and don't like pam the uh the uh, cookie baking sheet or anything like that just put the granola right on it you don't need it it's fine if you throw it in before like the oven's at perfectly at 350 or 325 or whatever so go ahead and throw it in and then you're gonna set a timer for about somewhere in the 18 to 20 minute range uh, depends on you know the temperature you put it in at I'm probably I'm gonna put it in for like 19 I think alrighty guys the uh, timer is going off as you can hear gonna look very cooked right now and that's because it's only half done. So what we're going to do is take a spatula, make sure you keep one of the hot pads, and uh, you're gonna flip all of the granola. So you're pretty much just gonna like get under it and like flip it like a pancake as best you can. Once you get it all flipped you're gonna kind of want to make sure it's all spread out evenly again on the pan. Depending on how it looks, if it looks pretty cooked, you know, uh, got some brown spots and stuff, if it looks cooked, put it back in the oven for the same amount of time as you did the first time. If it's undercooked, like this is, if you look at this, this is uh, slightly undercooked, I think. Like it should all kind of look somewhat like this, but this all looks a little, you know, undercooked. Put it in for a minute or two longer this time and another pro tip I'm gonna put the pan in facing like so the other the other end is in the back of the oven this time so it's like facing one way this time and I'm gonna flip it around this time just so each end gets cooked as you can see like the back half gets cooked more than like the front half kind of so I'm gonna just flip it around try to help it cook evenly so I'm probably gonna throw this in for like 20 minutes and we'll uh Looks like I cooked it just barely too long. As you can tell here, it got a little, a little crusty on the edges, but uh, but not bad, not bad at all. Now, pretty much just wait for it to cool off, and then you can uh, put it in a big bowl. Make sure whatever you put it in uh, has a lid or like seal somehow. So like here, I put it in, um, I put it in this big bowl right here that has a lid. As you can see, we're still a little left in there. But uh, yeah, so either put it in a bowl you can that has a lid, just something that seals, so like a plastic bag or whatever, because if you don't, it'll dry out and it'll be super dry and crunchy and just not as good. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, try that one out for yourself, especially if you're just starting out or you know a little bit new to this or intermediate or whatever that way. Great snack to make to uh, you know bump up your calories and uh, bump up your carbs a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.